This is all India Radio Shalom. The Northeast News Bulletin read by Arkin Pariyat. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that self-help groups are playing a very important role in the rural areas of the country, especially for small entrepreneurs and for laborers. Interacting with members of self-help groups, SHGs, comprising of more than 10 million women across the country through video conferencing yesterday, the Prime Minister said self-help groups form the basis of economic growth for the poor, especially women. He said the groups are making women socially and economically strong. Niti Aayog has proposed a 15-point action plan to combat air pollution in 10 most polluted cities in the country, including Delhi, Kanpur and Varanasi. The draft action plan titled Breathe India includes encouraging electric vehicles, phasing out private diesel vehicles and development of crop residue utilization policy. The action plan also includes expediting strategic decommissioning of old and inefficient power plants. Manipur Horticulture and Soil Conservation Minister Thaumajam Shankumar yesterday inaugurated an aggregation unit for pineapple at Antha village in Imphal. Andro constructed at the cost of 11.25 lakh rupees under the Mission Organic Chain Development for Northeast Region, Ministry of Agriculture. Speaking at the inaugural, inaugural function, Thaumajam Shankumar said the aggregation unit will help pineapple farmers in solving the storage issue and provide a shelter during extreme weather conditions, stating that the unit will benefit the pineapple farmers, especially women who are tirelessly working in the field. The Railways has launched its first consolidated bridge management system, a web-enabled IT application to store data on its 1,50,000 bridges. Railways Minister Piyush Goyal launched the service in New Delhi yesterday for meaningful assimilation, analysis and dissemination of information related to various activities about its bridges. An official statement said that the web-based platform will show the bridge master data, works data, information regarding inspection, monitoring and maintenance of the bridges and other essentials. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu has asked the Rural Electrification Corporation to work in tandem with the Power Department to provide electricity connection to all households in the state by the 31st of December this year. The Chief Minister in a meeting with Power Department officials and REC told them that all households in the state should not only be equipped and wired but also be lighted up for total success of the Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Harghar Yojana scheme. REC is a central public sector undertaking. The scheme was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to provide free electricity connection to all households of above poverty line and below poverty line families in rural and urban areas. The Chief Minister said the state government will mobilize all resources available to achieve 100% electrification of all households in the state by December 31st this year. The police have seized a huge cache of explosive materials from two persons suspected to be arms smugglers in Manipur's Jiribam district, police said in a statement yesterday. A total of 68 gelatin sticks, 173 detonators, fuse wire and two mobiles were seized, Jiribam Superintendent of Police Mubi Singh said. The suspected arms smugglers were arrested yesterday. An investigation has been initiated, the SP said in the statement. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from the Shillong station of Old India Radio. Have a nice day.